Thanks for staying with us there on our Carl Customs wide open coverage and welcome back to XR Plus and Racing America's live coverage here from North Wilkesboro Speedway Night 4 of the Racetrack Revival. I'm Alan Dietz. We'll be joined by 2019 Snowball Derby winner Travis Braden here in just a bit and Brandon Brown from XR Plus will be down trackside. As the Boards Compact Touring Series heads out on track now, they raced here last night, and we'll tell you a little bit about these guys as they head out onto the speedway. Four-cylinder engines, front-wheel drive cars, and that on camera going down into turn three is the 33 of downtown Justin Brown. He's from Bogstown, Indiana, sponsored by Fairfield Inn and Suites of Statesville and Boards Welding and Steel. Don't forget our friends with Spectrum Hospitality as well. They're the official hotel partner here at North Wilkesboro Speedway. Be sure to check out Hampton Inn or the Holiday Inn Express in Wilkesboro on your stay here. And we appreciate their support here of the Racetrack Revival, the folks at Spectrum Hospitality. Group qualifying here, so these drivers will get their times registered here in this qualifying session that will help determine their starting lineup there will be a draw and there will be an inversion anywhere from 4 to 13 looking at the 18 car of Dylan Kalen from Louisville Kentucky all-star truck repair and S&S fabrication the sponsors on that car Boards Compact Touring Series raced for 50 laps last night and will go for 50 laps tonight. I'm sure these drivers learned a lot about this racetrack. North Wilkesboro Speedway measures .625 of a mile around 14 degrees in the turns, the banking, and 3 degrees on the straightaways. We see the 33 of Justin Brown and the 93 of Tim Cassidy from Barbersville, West Virginia. Freedom used auto and 93.7 the dog to sponsors on that car. You can keep up with where your favorite driver is in the standings and their quick time with our pylon over on the left side of the screen right now. Jason Clevenger with the quick time in the 85C as these cars come around to complete their qualifying attempt. Checkered flag out over this first group. Ooh, a little sideways there for the 33 machine of Justin Brown, but he straightens it back out. Dylan Kalen laying a good lap down on the second go around as we see Steve Vore, last night's winner, Tom Gosser, or Tom Gosser, excuse me, Sean Frederick there in the 44. Right now, Jason Clevenger with the quick time in the car number 85, 23.088. Dylan Kalen, second quick in the car number 18. Third is the 53 of Curtis Finlayson. Fourth is the 33 of Justin Brown. Fifth, the 93 of Tim Cassidy. Sixth is the 76 of Jay Workman. Seventh, the 85 of Phil Eiliff. And eighth is the 89 of Nathan Goodman. And there you see that Outlaw Zero machine of Tom Gosser. 2016 Rookie of the Year in the Boards Compact Touring Series and 2021 Series Champion. He's won at Nashville, he's won at Bristol, and now he can say he is a winner at North Wilkesboro Speedway, having taken the win here last night in that great-looking hatchback. Vails Concrete and Gosser Towing, the sponsors on that car number zero as the next group rolls out now. Trying to better the 23.088 second lap set by Jason Clevenger, who stuck right there with Tom Gosser most of the night last night, but he was one of the drivers that had problems and fell out early, had a flat tire, and was not able to finish the 50 laps. But he was right there with Tom Gosser while he was out there. 85 machine, that is Phil Eiliff. From Portland, Indiana, he's sponsored by Vores Welding and Steel. 
And then back in behind him is the car number 46 of Jason Garwood from North Wilkesboro, North Carolina. Had quite the cheering section for him here last night as this group of cars comes and will get ready to go here. I said that's Phil Olive. That's actually the 95, excuse me, a David Yoder. David from Kenton, Ohio. Liberty National Bank and Stillwater Metal LLC, the sponsors on that car. Apologies to David. As the green flag is out. Here for group number two. Lay some laps down and try to knock down that 23.088 set by Jason Clevenger. There's Jason Garwood in the car number 46. Whoa, slides it through turn one. It's crazy. Whenever we were here back in June for the smart test and the late model stock test, uh, the common theme was was this racetrack had, had not been ran on for 11 years. There was no rubber down. Uh, no problem now. There's plenty of rubber down as we've actually got a car going around right now over in turn four. So the yellow flag's out, and we'll get a look and see who that is that went around. I believe that's the car number 80 of Nathan, or excuse me, of Bradley Winters from Louisville, Kentucky. He's the current points leader for the D&J Sales B4 Mini Series. East Ave Heating and Cooling and KidsLoveRocks.com, the sponsors on that 80 car. Just went for a slow spin there in turn four, and already Tom Gosser, one lap, has set the quick time, 22.719. Three tenths of a second quicker than Jason Clevenger, and that could be bad news for everybody else. And they better hope Tom Gosser pulls that number 13 in the redraw today to make it interesting as the green flag is back out. There's the car number 44 tonight, driven by. Sean Frederick from Goodlettsville, Tennessee. Total performance on that car. It was driven last night by Bubba Kincaid. But Sean Frederick back behind the wheel here, this 44 car tonight. And the white flag in the air here for group number two. There's the car last night. We dubbed the Watermelon. That's the 62 for the veteran Yogi Metz from Charlotte, Michigan. Premier Carpentry and Painting, the sponsor, along with the FWDshop.com. All right, so this next group will... Get their times in. Tom Gosser to the pole now with that 22.719 second lap. That'll drop Jason Clevenger back to second, Dylan Kalen to third, Curtis Finlayson in fourth, and David Yoder in fifth as we take a look at the 39 of Kyle Frame wearing those pink gloves for Racing America's Jess Ballard and his support for the fight against breast cancer. Kyle had a broken axle last night that prevented him from finishing, but he's going to take that car number 39 out now, sponsored by Blanchard's Auto Service and Bare Metal Incorporated. He's from New Albany, Indiana. And he was right up there uh, until he had his problem challenging for second. That's that white car number 39 rolling on track now. There is the car that actually finished second. That's the car number six of Chris Jennings, two-time Boards Compact Touring Series champion in 2013 and 2016. He's from Richmond, Indiana. Car sponsored by D&J Sales Fire Bottle and Fire Safety Systems. And we'll see if Chris is going to be able to step it up just a little bit tonight and get in that category with 
Tom Gosser and Jason Clevenger. Car number five back there behind him, that's Brett Smith from Richmond, Indiana. Also sponsored by D&J Sales Fire Bottle and Fire Safety Systems. A teammate to Chris Jennings. Whoa, and Brett's turning it sideways and keeps his foot in the gas and brings it right back around. Seen more cars get sideways up there in turns one and two already than we saw all last night. There's Kyle Frame in his Honda. Blanchard's Auto Service and Bare Metal Incorporated is sponsoring. Whoops, there is Brett Smith. We saw him get sideways. Whoa, a car now going to go for a spin here on the front straightaway. Lock it down. And luckily that 53 car did of Scott Huffman. He uh, kept the car out of the wall, as did Brett Smith. Pretty eventful here in this qualifying session for the Vores Compact Touring Series. Nobody in this group so far able to break into that top five. Kyle Frame, I believe the quickest in this group right now, ninth quick in the car number 39. There is the five machine of Brett Smith who went for the spin in turn one. And just in front of him, that's the red car number five of Jesse Jones, the veteran from Virginia, Easy Auto and Duckwork Incorporated sponsors on that five car. That's the red car. Good look there at some of the campers parked over in turns three and four, ready for tonight's action already. A good crowd here at North Wilkesboro Speedway as we go back under green. If you're nearby, come on out. Perfect night to go racing here in the Blue Ridge Mountains at North Wilkesboro Speedway. There's the car number nine. That's Will Jennings. He was not able to race last night. Looks like we got a driver out of this group now up into the top five. That's the six of Chris Jennings. As Will Jennings and Harvey Yoder work out of turn number two uphill down the back straightaway. Up the back straightaway and down the front straightaway literally here at North Wilkesboro Speedway. And I believe that will conclude qualifying here for the Vores Compact Touring Series. Quick time will be 22.719 for the zero of Tom Gosser.